Hmm. Yes, that was fun. Oh, yes, that bit there as well, yes. Hmm. Oh, what, no beer? <laughs> no, no. Uh, this is a wonderful cardboard kit that I had to construct of, well, do you recognise it? Famous bit of history. Let me show you the book first and I'll explain the background to it. What I like about this is there was lots and lots of instructions, but no language, no words in it at all. And they have to have so many different languages if it's Europeans with the different tongues, etc. But it was very clearly marked exactly how you construct the piece. And it's a marvellous thing to do on a long winter evening, all the way through to the finale. And then, what do we have here? Strange. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, that's where all the pieces were, of course, and I had to take them out. So what does it make? Well, I'll show you. This is a little beauty. This wonderful Portuguese designer, cardboard engineer, has designed and constructed, and then I had the tremendous joy of putting it all together. This records a moment in history about 500 years ago when the Portuguese and the Spanish had both large navies and they sailed out into the world but couldn't decide amongst themselves how to um, design, how to, how to apportion the territories of the world. So they asked the Pope to intervene and he got a map and as far as he knew the map was carved up so that they, one portion went to the Spanish and one to the Portuguese. Well, that's, that's something the Pope would do, isn't it, I suppose? And then, of course, the, um, the British and the Dutch and the French came on the scene, so that's a moment of history past. But just for a short time, the world belonged to two people, really, the Spaniard and the Portuguese. And this is a, a little automata which records it. So what's it do? Well, if I turn the handle here, we'll see. What's that lovely noise inside? That's a sort of funny little cardboard gear which is rubbing against a little sheet of cardboard which has got a nice, rather like a, a sort of leaf spring. It makes that wonderful sound. Now look at the action as I'm doing it. Change my hands. Keep it fit. There are about three or four hundred little tabs to put together so I needed to have a lot of glue and um, I eventually got through about a tube and a half of glue, I think it is. But there we are, that's what's left as the final bit of glue I used. Well, what a wonderful piece this is. And look at the underneath, that's tremendous. Very nice, cleverly designed and very firmly made. And I love the little details, which I had to add in right at the very end, where we had their little, two little pots with, 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 with feathers for, um, for, for writing, little quill pens and a little map which they've rejected or put down temporarily while they carved up the world. A really important business to them was carving up the world into their own territories. So something to do on long one dark winter evenings. A lot of work but most enjoyable because the end result is a really superb automaton. This is going to be a pride and joy of my collection, I think, now that I made it. Looking forward to the next one for this chap. So it records a very interesting but uh, fragmentary piece of history about 500 years ago and I think it's superb, don't you? Only one thing is uh, glue not included. <laughs>